Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good night, good morning, good day, wherever you are in the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. South Africa, Florida, Nigeria, <laughs> America, St. Thomas Virgin Islands, Belize, Mexico. Welcome, 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 everybody. Jamaica. Mapen Clarendon. Welcome, 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 everybody. Good night, good night, good night. Um, I have on a new headgear tonight. I had to support one of my goddess sisters of mine. I ordered this head wrap from her website. You know, we have to uh, support small businesses and support each other. And... um. If you want to go and buy head wraps and clothes and t-shirts, um, her website is Body to Body Empress by BBC. Yes, I just got it in the mail. Yes, my, my package just came in the mail and she sent me a blue one. I got a blue one and I, I'm wearing the red one. So... Go and check out my my sister. Um, she has an online clothing business called Body to Body Empress by BBC. Yes. I like it. I like how it feels. I love the color. Yes. So tonight, I want to talk to you about cemeteries in Jamaica or the overcrowdedness of cemeteries in Jamaica, the overpopulation of cemeteries in Jamaica. Cemeteries in Jamaica, with an estimated 427 recognized cemeteries across Jamaica, 68% are running out of space and the majority have had to close permanently. That's why E that's why NEPA officials are urging Jamaicans to give greater consideration to alternative post-life memorials such as uh, cremation, tear burials, or even digital cemeteries. This was a report that was done April 21st, 2019 by the Gleaner. NEPA is the National Environmental Policy Act. United States environmental law that promote, promotes the environment of the that promotes the enhancement of the environment and is and established the president's uh, council on environmental equality or quality i'm going to say that again the nepa is the national environmental policy act of the united states environmental law that promotes the enhancement of the environment and established the president's council on the environmental quality. The law was enacted on January 1st, 1970. Francis, who is the director of the NEPA, told the Sunday Gleaner that the funeral industry has long complained that the approvals 
for expansion have been denied or delayed on grounds that do not involve contamination of the water table or other public health concerns. But Francis insists that multiple factors have to be taken into consideration before approvals are granted, including clamor that the burial places hurt real estate value. You have to understand that the cemeteries and funeral homes are very sensitive from a cultural and social perspective. That is the key thing. People just don't like cemeteries beside them, Francis said. I don't know if it's the if it's the duppy phenomenon. Um, so what we normally do is when we assess the development, we look at it from an environmental perspective from a land use perspective. So they are normally placed in areas that are zoned for such purposes or on lands that can accommodate them. Francis said there is hardly any land that is zoned for cemeteries, but what, normal, what normally happens is that they try to expand existing cemeteries or if somebody comes with a proposal, they do the investigation and zone the property for that purpose. The zoning process also involves cons consultations with persons and if in the consul consultative process, persons don't want it there, we're not going to be forcing it. Francis assured that environmental impact assessments are done before the expansion of cemeteries are approved, as well as for prospective burial grounds that multiple authorities are seeking to develop. The director said that he is aware of NEPA even receiving two proposals for burial at sea. NEPA said that surveys it has conducted show that families prefer private cemeteries to public ones because of the latter's history of neglect and vandalism. From 2004 to 2013, there were 24 applications for funeral homes and cemeteries. Since 2014, there were 32 applications which uh, represent an increase of 33% between 2014 and the present time. Around five applications have been approved. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of Jamaicans want to come home and to be buried. So if we don't treat it seriously and look on the various approaches, we're going to have issues. We're going to have to find one of those solutions. But we know we cannot continue to expand and use up the valuable land resources that we have we just cannot do that, said Francis. I did this story 
about the overpopulation of cemeteries and the lack of land for cemeteries for a reason. And one of the reasons that I did this story is because I want to bring awareness to Jamaicans around the world that when your loved one pass away in a foreign country and you want to bring that family member home to Jamaica to bury them, these are the issues that you're going to have to face because of the overpopulation of grave sites and cemeteries. That's one of the issues. Another issue could be the high crime rate could be part of the reason why we have to bury so many people. Because we have already hit 1,000 murdered, deceased in Jamaica for the year 2022. And the year has not ended yet. So we have a high rate of murder and crime. We have uh, uh, native um, Jamaicans who have moved abroad and have loved ones that they want to ship them home or fly them home, however they get them back to Jamaica, to bury them. And there's nowhere to bury their loved ones. They can't even plan ahead and prepare and buy a cemetery space or plot for their loved one because there is no spaces. They're actually encouraging people now to cremate their loved ones or to have a burial at sea. There is a big real estate issue also involved in this because the land of Jamaica is a high resource for the economy as far as money <laughs> and a lot of the land is so rich in resources they don't want to take that land and use it for a cemetery so we have a lot of issues going on because of the overpopulation of cemeteries in Jamaica. Now, like I said before, this information might not be important to some people. If you are watching this and this is not important to you, then disregard this video. But I'm making you aware of the things that are going on in Jamaica. If you are preparing for burial plots and for shipping your loved one home to be buried in Jamaica or on, or on the island of Jamaica, you're going to come up on, if you haven't already made plans and you don't have a land that you've already bought and established for your burial of your loved one, you're most likely going to have burial issues when it's time to bring your loved one home to Jamaica to bury them because there's an overpopulation of cemeteries. 427 cemeteries. And there is no more room 
for any more cemeteries. So my question is, what is the solution to this problem? Maybe one of the solutions is bring the crime rate down, bring the murder rate down, bring the death rate down. That might help. I'm just saying. I have questions. I always have questions. <laughs> but I'm just saying. A lot of people haven't even thought about. They moved away from Jamaica years ago. And moved to other countries. And haven't even thought about the fact that. When, when, when one of their loved ones pass away. And it's time to move, ship them back to Jamaica. There's nowhere to bury them. So. Your option is going to be. Bury them in the country where you are at the present time. Or face cremation when you go back to Jamaica. If you don't already have land that you have set aside for your loved one's burial. This is Marie's message. I hope this helps somebody. And everyone, have a good night. Until next time. Be good to yourself and to others. Good night.